Buna tuturor everyone and welcome to another video on the Death's Oath Occultist. Yes, we're here once again. And this will be a little bit of a follow-up video on how it's been going for me, League starting with this character in the Sanctum League and uh, kind of how's it been going from like day one into what I'm doing right now and all that stuff. But uh, first of all, I want to say I'm sorry that this video came out late. I was supposed to do it a week ago, but I got sick, as you can probably still hear on my voice. So I apologize for everyone that has been waiting for this update video and that has also been waiting for the Atlas tree. Um, so first of all, we're going to start off with talking about how leak start went for me. So leveling through the acts was pretty easy. I once again used Poisonous Concoction, which I think is one of the strongest leveling skills in the game. And it was super easy for me to get through all the acts. Um, when I got to uh, maps, I mapped with Poisonous Concoction for a little bit until I could afford a four socketed Death's Oath. And then I ran with that for a little bit as, uh, as well with the Poisonous Concoction until I was able to farm like a five link bow and then I swapped to Caustic Arrow. And then I used the four socketed uh, armor and the five link uh, bow until like uh, yellow maps. And then I managed to get a five socket on my dead zone. And then I used the five socket dead zone and the five link bow to get to like tier 10, tier 11 maps basically on day one. And then on day two, I kept farming, I kept adding more upgrades and I started pushing into red maps. And the more I pushed my gear, the easier I could do red maps and all that stuff. And by like the end of day two or something like that, I had done a tier 15 map maybe. Um, and then the next couple of days after that, I was just farming red maps and I got to tier 16 and I kept pushing my Atlas progression quite a bit until I started making more money by farming uh, with the Atlas tree setup that I have uh, uh, as well. So yeah, it went pretty easy actually and I didn't really have any problem with bosses. I even managed to kill some of the uh, quest bosses as well, the pinnacle bosses myself. Um, and then later on <clears throat> when I had most of my gear I started killing some of the end bosses myself as well. So now I've killed the uh, Shaper, Elder, uh, all the Guardian bosses as well. I recently killed Cortex and Cirrus and all that stuff. So uh, I did need help with Uber Elder and Maven though, because I don't really think this build is very good for Maven. And Uber Elder, I just didn't want to risk it. So I, uh, I had some help there as well. But other than that, I didn't really have any problems with anything. Um, Nowadays, I've been farming uh, very juiced uh, tier 16 maps with this. I was doing dunes and I was doing a pretty crazy atlas tree where I farm a lot of legion, breach and delirium. Uh, I've also been doing some 40 and 60% delirious maps lately and I even swapped my atlas tree into more boss rushing and sanctum farming because I really enjoy the sanctum and the sanctum is very rewarding. So that's basically what I've been doing recently. Um, so that's how it's been going. I made some changes to the build and that's something I want to go over right now as well. The gear is pretty much the same and I've been focusing on the gear from the mapping version. But I do have some changes uh, a little bit in the gear uh, and basically mainly the uh, skill tree is where we made our biggest changes for the league. And that's the direction I'm going to take the build in from now on. So here we have my character right now. I am currently level 98 as I've been mapping quite a bit and leveling has just come very easily to me because uh, I can do so like juiced maps. I have died quite a bit. I have 76 deaths. I'm not sure how many of that was in the act, but you know, I die sometimes here and there when I'm doing like pretty juiced up delirious maps. There are some deli things that can like really destroy me. And one thing that I noticed this league is that I'm having a lot of troubles with Esh mobs when I was farming breaches. I've heard something on Reddit that there are something about like uh, elemental mobs exposing more of your resists or something like that and that might be why that's happening. Uh, nothing else I've really struggled with any anything except for like specifically Esh mobs in breaches. They can just absolutely annihilate me sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's how that's been going as well. Um, in terms of gear, it's basically, you know, the same gear as we had before, like I said, in the uh, in the mapping version. Yesterday, I was able to get an Awakened Increased Arrow of Effect support. It's very expensive, so I didn't really want one for a while, but now I'm focusing a lot on Sanctum, so I kind of want to squeeze in a little bit more damage, and even though this isn't that much damage, I still wanted to get it. Um, and then uh, one change that I have done as well is that I have dropped the Golem now, even though I did like it for more life regen. 
I now have Withering Step that I activate when I am next to bosses like this. So I apply Wither to the bosses faster and that's something we're going to talk about because of the changes to the skill tree that we have made. So this is how the new skill tree looks like. There will also be a path of building of course in the description. I have now dropped Growth and Decay because even though it was very good we did spend a lot of points in order to get there and it wasn't really that worth it with the fact that we are now pathing through up here because we want Eldritch Battery. So I figured, hmm, what's a better way to do this? So I dropped Growth and Decay and this is now the skill tree. Uh, you're supposed to be level 95 to be mostly optimized for the skill tree. The last three levels I got recently I just put into another jewel here because I was like, alright, what the hell do I do with this? There are some things you can do, but like, yeah, you know, 95 is the max level you need and anything above that is just like do whatever you want i guess but uh, anyway so now we still keep going for corruption and we also go for heart of darkness so corruption and heart of darkness is actually really big in terms of damage because of wither since wither applies increased chaos damage taken and can be afflicted up to 15 times this is a big damage multiplier and if we have increased effect of withered over here <coughs> and we also have increased effect of Withered on the Chaos Mastery, then if we Wither bosses or rare mobs with a lot of Wither stacks, we deal incredible amount of damage. And this is why I now have Withering Step. Because we apply Wither normally through Withering Presence. Every second, inflict Withered on nearby enemies for 15 seconds. Hmm, alright. So uh, we kind of need to get Wither Stacks up a little bit faster than this, because otherwise we need to wait 15 seconds in order to have like full Wither Stacks on the boss or the enemy, whatever. So that's why we have Withered Step now to help us get Wither faster, because we have so much focus on Wither. I didn't use to play with this because I didn't really feel like it was very necessary. Like, yeah, sure, Wither Stacks are nice, but now we emphasize so much on Wither Effect, so it is very essential that we get Wither Stacks up faster. And basically, that's the main change that I made for the build right now. Everything else is kind of the same from what you've seen from my YouTube videos last league. Um, nowadays, you can have a level 1 Enlighten if you want to. It doesn't really matter. You have enough uh, mana reservation to have Determination uh and everything else anyway because we play with elrich battery because of feedback that we got you know from people and i also figured it like yeah this actually feels really good so you can even have a level one enlighten as long as you have the rudis veil uh, because it becomes a level three if you have eldritch battery and uh now we just have withering step instead and and this actually feels really good and vol caustic arrow is so incredibly strong and so incredibly broken that you have insane amount of single target dps as long as you know how to position yourself with the boss so that's something that you're going to need some practice on is to like put cost vol caustic arrow on the ground and try not to kite the boss outside of the vol caustic arrow try to keep them inside it and it will deal insane amount of damage like i killed cortex two days ago or something and he died so fast like cortex was a joke to this build and i'm like man this is not really a, a bossing build it's a mapping build and it was still so easy and i've been farming a lot of sanctums even though all the sanctified relics i'm getting are trash i did manage to get this one yesterday as well six percent increased damage per friend's charge which is pretty nice because i managed to snag this ring which is pretty cool it has minimum friends of charges and minimum and gain of friends charge and kill so this is really nice if you can get something like this because another big thing as well is because we play eldritch battery you don't need like the minus uh you know uh skill call skill mana cost of skills anymore because we don't need that because we have our energy shield and we play with eldritch better so i can just spam spells anyway so there's no need to get that sort of thing and therefore getting stronger or better or cheaper rings is much more easier now and like yeah that's basically it that's how i've been doing and that's how everything has been going so uh, yeah uh, I'm leveling a new character, but I'm still always available in Discord or on stream if you need help with playing this build or if you have any questions, feel free, feel free to swing by. And uh, have a great night and uh, happy holidays to everyone out there as well.